this was created with Articulate uh, Presenter or Articulate Storyboard. This is like a $1,400 piece of software uh, that they use for e-learning. You know, it's really expensive, but it does have a lot of bells and whistles. But I saw this interactive uh, piece in it, and I thought, hey, you know, why can't I create this with my $197 piece of Camtasia software that you know I already own? So this is what it this is what it does. It says, click on the red X to place a pin on each arm and leg. So this video is a science video about frog dissection and they wanted to make it interactive. So I can click on the X here, and the, the pins come down. See? Pins come down here. And it's, you know, it's got text coming up and everything. So I thought to myself, well, let me see if I can do that with Camtasia. Now, now most people would say no, you know, that you talk to, no, Camtasia doesn't do that kind of stuff. Camtasia is more for screen recording or, or talking head or whatever. I think I did a pretty good job and it only took me a few minutes to do it. Okay, so here is my my frog dissection vi video. Well, actually it's not dissecting it, but okay, so this, I'll start it up. Click on the scissors to remove the frog's tongue. Okay, so I go over here, I click on the scissors, and the scissors come down and click, and then he says, ouch, and then somebody had to do it. Okay, so that's my uh, that's my reproduction. I could have done exactly what was that other video. I could have done it with the X's. I was just trying to get it done right before this session to prove what you can do. And uh, that is done with uh, hotspots. So let me show you guys how I created this in Camtasia. In case you'd like to have a little fun. There we are. Okay, so this is all there is to it. You know, this is this is the whole thing. <laughs> this shape here is just to make a white background. Um, I didn't really have to add the shape to do that. Some of you may already know that you can go in and just change the color. Oops, change the color of your background, like right here. That's under Project Settings. So I could have done that too. See, if you click here, you go to Project Settings, change the whole color of the background. But I, I just did this real quick, you know. I threw a shape on there. So then what I did is I found a picture of a frog uh, online, and this frog had a... Um, it had a white background already, but I could have made it transparent in case I decided to use a different color background. I could have uh, removed the background, like in PowerPoint, you know how you can remove backgrounds of things in PowerPoint, and then brought it in like that. But that's just for the frog. All right, then, then what I did is I went to annotations, and I went to uh, this text, and I brought that in here and that's this right here that's this text right here hold on right here and I wanted to try to make it this that same kind of font sort of that the guy had here it made it a little bit more casual you might not have this font you might I don't know Seggio script it might have been a font that I downloaded I can't remember so you get the frog and you get the font. Okay, so then I went online and I found a pair of scissors and I just brought it in and I just plunked it there and resized it. So I dragged this down and I put it on top of the scissors here. And you can see the outline of it here. That's the transparent hotspot. I just put it right on the scissors so that when someone clicks on the scissors, it would do something. But but instead of going to um, a marker, I just had it go to this exact time. So here, here's the hotspot. See what I did? I chose time. I had it go to, to this time here, 51 seconds, 51.20 because that is where I started in animation. 
So I hope you don't think this is complicated. It really isn't. I mean, look how small small it is here. Um, I just started an animation, a custom animation. And that animation was, as I roll it along, see the animation was the scissors moving down to the frog's tongue. And then I put a, a funny little speech bubble pop up, it just popped up. And then after that, I just threw this, this text up here. And I, I actually put one of the Camtasia behaviors on it. So here's the text. And if you look down here where my mouse is, it has this pop-up behavior added to it. So there you go. Now, you guys could probably think of some applications for this. You know that I don't know what kinds of videos you're doing. Let's just say you're, you're teaching anything. I mean, all of a sudden they're watching the video and it's kind of going along and you're just kind of throwing information, information, information. And then all of a sudden it pauses and the narrator says, click on the, the lady who's, who's about to have a car accident. You know, there's three cars there. So the video stops and they're like, oh, okay, wake up. I got to do something here. And so they choose one and then it's say the little car just kind of animates into another car and shows a, shows a little car crash. If you just throw these in here and there, it adds so much more fun and interest to your video.